Yeah, this is no warm up, boys. You said the tower? No, I guess I got the double out of us. Round two. Fight. This is kind of annoying. <laughs> you can't press any of your folks. That's all I'm saying. It's like really funny.
Round two. Fight.
it's annoying. That's the only ass thing about Tremor is when my back's against the corner, I don't know what combo to do because that combo only works mid screen. GG's 3 0, or not 3 0, 3 2, last round. All right, now I gotta play Han, like for top eight. Get out of here. You got any clue how many army pictures I've done? Round one. Thank you. 
Alright, two one, two one. All right, we made top eight. GG's. Top eight winners. King Gambler has had more offline experience. We saw Gambler at UFA. We saw Gambler recently uh, securing fifth place finish in Brazil. I was there with him and spent a lot of time with him. Um, this is a really important top eight for him. He needs as much points as he can get.
what I'm looking at right now, Ketchup, is I'm looking at 900 health versus 1100 health. This is incredible. Good to see some more Johnny Goro. We actually saw some Johnny Goro um, on the east side of things as well. So even though he's got 900 HP, even though Johnny's got a slap on the wrist, this character is still cooking up plenty here in Mortal Kombat when you're about to see on display. I mean, for those that may be wondering, a couple of the small, you know, notes that were changed around Johnny Cage. Long story short is his 1-1 one, one is now not as plus, it's plus 1 instead of plus 3, and his down 1 is now 7 frames instead of 6. A shocker. Catch up. Follow me. I feel like at a high level, the 1-1 one, one changes a buff, and at a low level, it's a nerf. Yeah, there is an so. added mind game now to the 1-1 one, one at only being plus 1 versus plus 3, where it actually you it, 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 it forces your opponent to want to press more, which opens up more opportunities, in my opinion. Fight. Yeah, it depends on what kind of reads you can make after it. You know, if they press a button, maybe you can backdash or something similar. You mentioned the difference of 900 health versus 1100. We have to remember that this is Reiko as well with Tremor cameo, so there's a lot of true mix-up. The command grabs are going to hurt, those combo conversions are going to hurt, and it all comes down to the Tremor ambush, so... Already sitting there pretty waiting for Crystalline. If we land even a single hit, we're going to go into Aftershock, low ground pound, all the classic stuff that I'm sure you've seen by now. And it's off but, of everything too, like his slide, his grab, and Nagoro's going to keep him safe on the overhead advancement. Remind, just trying to simply mix his way through this Ooh, one. Gorgeous. Knocked oh. down into massive... Oh, you're dead. You're dead. See ya. Bye. Yeah, Rewind, I am so not surprised that Rewind kind of just went right for Reiko when this game came out. Because, I mean, not to say that Darius is irrelevant now, because anyone that saw Brazil will know that the uh, General Shao Darius stream is still very much alive. General Shao Darius. Where the Omni-Man Darius is out there in the world. I've seen him. I've seen a couple. I've seen some yeah. sick combos. Yeah, there's some, there's, some there's, sick combos. there's some cool Darius thing out there going on. I'm a Sub-Zero Darius believer myself, but there's that break. Instant jump in. I mean, Johnny Cage's jump kick, it's just, it's one of the best parts Number of the game. one. The superstar of the game right there, catch up. And there's a reason people don't even try an anti air button. They just uplock. <laughs> that, that's the option. <laughs> Meatless pickups, delicious stuff. And Gambler, something I haven't actually mentioned. You know, he's very much the original Johnny Cage and Goro. We saw Zombat use a little bit of that, actually, in the uh, NA East. The changes to Johnny Cage, uh, the down one being one frame slower, but also uh, the one it sure oh is goodness. mixed up around here. Uh, adding Goro to the end of things kind of takes those changes to Cage, and it's not really as bad for Goro, you know, because whenever you want to do anything on block, Goro's still going to be there. So I don't really think Gambler's game plan has been affected all that much, with the exception of the jailing 1-1 one, one into forward 3, but that's every cage. That's right, you're digger with Goro, it's all about the specials into Goro right there. Punk special, raw shadow kick from full screen. That gets full conversions. Ooh, that was such a good punish. But that right there, you know, Reiko's oh. got a fast down one. Gambler tried to do 1-1 one, one into backdash, maybe expecting a button, as you kind of alluded to at the start of the set. Uh, didn't take the bait, of course, but we're kind of forced to open up those mind games here. And that grab is so effective in just how much hit advantage Reiko has on his pokes, on his down four that's going to jail into 50-50s, that's going to jail into really good staggers with his back one, or the back one one or back one two, and the one and one two. Everything he's got could go in the mix. Gambler getting some momentum right now. He's got him to the corner. It's with the fourth row. He's going to hit the deck. Take a walk. Ooh. He's about to knock down. He's going to down one in one. Why in one in the rows? Rewind this too, dude. Holding down and pressing triangle right there, mate. <laughs> After blocking a down one. All it takes is that one payout of the command grab. That's all That's it's going to take. That's why Rewind's not afraid to just go sweep, sweep, overhead, rinse, repeat. You sit there one time, <gasps> that command grab kills you. Next time. For the low. Ooh, we tried. That's a lot of meter gone, though, Aqua. That's such smart disrespect from King Gambler. Who on a hit can take this? Whipping that parry was kind of dangerous, though, because you didn't have option to break. No. Gave him fatal blow. Rewind cannot get hit now. Shadow Gambler. kicking the Goros in play too. Uh -oh. uh oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, that just got Gambler moving. The big difference here, though, is that you can still true combo somebody with a string that has the armor. It's just that the armor is used so little, you 
often don't have the chance to see it in action. Mm -hmm. But it's actually not as good. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, nice up block, but no time to do anything with it. Won't have any Goro here on the knockdown. Goes for a safe jump. Nice false block. All right, Rewind. Still trapped in jail right now. You already see a little bit of difference in Gambler. Only doing the fourth restring. There's the 1-1. One, one. Still there, baby. Rewind kind of just looking for that perfect opportunity, but really, especially now, is going to have to find two. The first of which is going to have to be built around getting Gambler to break. Not going to happen, because there's that corner combo punish. And now Gambler's going to take that round, tactically get the extra damage of Shadow Kick, Ooh. get the star power. And all right, all right. We're in a situation. <laughs> that we are. Rewind says, don't get hit at all in this corner. Don't let him activate star power. Man, that's a lot of respect in force there with Rewind. Going into the running stance cancel and not even a button to answer back from Gambler. And the first hit of this match was Rewind getting the load, the right, the right tremor variation, but it hasn't landed a single hit afterwards in order to activate it. You you go into crystalline at the start of the match to have to have access to the aftershock and rewind, so it's not even worth it right there. You may need yeah. it for the comeback. King Gambler's got his breaker, not worth it again. Baits it out with a down two, and now we're talking. Not sure about that shadow kick, to be honest with you, because that is kind of exactly what Re Rewind was looking for. However, there's a whiff punish now. Not even a chance to break. Kind of working out pretty nicely there for Rewind, who was, I think, no pun intended, kind of gambling away and, and never using that tremor. Turns out, didn't need it. With punish. No cool day, though. Catch up, you had a cameo in you all along. Yeah. <laughs> Three, the happy 40. accident. Turns out you've just done like a million unbreakable command grabs, so yeah, works out. Uh oh, this don't know. Big damage incoming. Star power is ready. Are we going to use it? Is there even a chance to use it? Do we awesome. need it? Possibly <laughs> on block to throw a nut punch mix up and still no usage of the tremor. I feel like that was comeback time and now he's and now he's just going to hit hit the deck like a dead fish. Boom, he got flopped. Launching uppercut and if the stars hit, it actually becomes a full launcher. No. I love it. Uh, well, I hate getting hit by it, but I love Down it. Down 4EX stars too. And then, and then just yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The EX, it, it gives you a huge combo from the ground because, you oh, know, maybe. Those, uh, those stars don't juggle. You're on the floor. Something else I really enjoy about the, that I've seen a lot from Tremors is the use of the straight lava shot. Oh, yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and pressure I'm and pickups. Embarrassed to admit, the, uh, the name of the player in Brazil escapes me, so I'm really sorry, but we saw a uh, smoke and tremor in Brazil that was doing some very similar stuff with the tremor. Made it look really fun, but very, very difficult. Speaking of, though, corner pressure. Gambler doing a really good job of staying alive in this set, and there's the Goro. Doesn't quite time it to make it jail, so Rewind does challenge that. And No, it, it won't charge up. That could have been the kill. Parries the overhead and gets... The win there, wow. That with Fatal Blow could have been the round winning combo. Not quite sure why that dropped. Weird situation, perhaps. I know sometimes the uh, sort of combo situation can adjust it as well. It's a bit complicated. Can't really get into it now. Yeah, I wonder if it's a spot specific thing. Looked like only the yeah, first yeah. hit hit. It happens what? with Quan Sky Drop sometimes. <laughs> Bus Sky Drop to the day we die, am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, interrupts the forward dash. Rewind. Is he going to come off Tremor to secure? Nah, no, save those resources. Yeah, just back up and throw the stars. I think that's a really smart choice because it kind of uh, sets you up a lot safer going into what could be the final round. Backs up, makes the movement. And some may be watching this and asking Ketchup why we don't see Tremor as much. In order to use Tremor like you see a lot of players do, which is as an ambush, you have to switch into another ver version of it, and it costs the entirety of that cameo. So, most of the most of the times that you see Tremor used, it uses all the Tremor. The benefit compared to Adarius, though, is that the recharge time is much faster. Mm -hmm. So you can be a little bit more, uh, you know, easy going with when you pull the trigger on the Tremor cameo. But you need to be very sure that what he's providing you is something that you know. Is, is truly a tremor specific thing because some characters don't really care about what he has someone like reiko the second you get big damage from that aftershock low that changes the game considerably it's another reason that quan chi and tremor is so dangerous too it's just anytime you can get a knockdown into that by the way neutral duck we're going into a final game here because king gambler 
he's actually still kind of grinding for them points. He is not in a safe place. And a minimum top three finish here would be fantastic for him. That it would. And there was a crazy one for that fifth place too. Like game five with Javier who ended up getting second. And he lost to Prox who also got first. So given the run or that. given the path he had, had a pretty good run down there in Brazil. Got me feeling it. And look at that. Feeling the last victory off that micro duck comes absolute madness to the corner. Working on a hood perfect core, gonna keep him nice and plus one of the best homies that you can find in Outworld. If you can find yourself a Shokan that's got your back, you're doing all right in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I gotta say, Gambler has been crushing it in this comeback. Now, this grab's not gonna kill, but it's gonna be very difficult for Rewind to find that comeback in this situation. Going for a little bit of range, whiffs the overhead. I mean, at that point, you kind of have to swing something, otherwise you're just gonna get chipped away. This is match point for King Gambler. Wins this round, it'll be 3-2. Move on, fight Hourglass of Rain in the winner's finals later today. Oh, that was a cheeky load of some of the star power behind Goro, too. Even though he got crouched, it made his opponent do nothing for, for those couple seconds. That let him gain it. Might be feeling himself a little too much right now. Everyone get nice and patient. Perfect defense just outside of both. Great choice, you know, stick out those low pokes, because if the Goro doesn't get jailed, it is a high. So you can just sort of interrupt. Ooh, almost, got, almost got the whip punish on it. It's such an interesting dance between these two characters. The range low pokes of Reiko, but one good place backdash and the advancing buttons of Cage to chew it up, and kind of vice versa, really, with things like Reiko's back three. Get off me. That one right there, and even following up, had some extra range. You weren't expecting to get hit by a normal never. It is going to be pretty tricky to do uh, shadow kicks in this matchup. You know, those, those stars are going to chew through any armor that Johnny Cage has. Gambler, not worth the combo break. Technically could have broken there, but it just wouldn't have been worth it. It's, it's safer to go into this next round with all of your resources. Final round, six sticks of butter right now for both of these players. They they, they can bake and cook their hearts out with uh -oh. this much trans fat, baby. We're going to go crazy. No Gambler. breaker. No breaker from Rewind. Happy to hold on to it. Let's not forget EX. Come on, grab it. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, no, in the corner again. again. The timing. Oh, that had no. to have been a timing thing. Had to have been a timing thing. Is that going to be the downfall here? Tries to poke. Thought a stagger was probably coming right there. And King Gambler takes another third of his life. And without I that mean, first breaker, this is starting to get close to life alert now. I mean, Aqua, we kind of have to be honest here. Spending two bars to drop the combo. That's a lot of things to lose in the last round. And that is not a good situation. We are whatsoever. now a about a hit away from our top two seeds from the last tournament are both in losers now with king gambler taking it in a classic final round three two against rewind one of the main reasons i think rewind picks Xiao for this matchup is just having the beef the health the and range. damage if uh, on a uh -huh. on a hicker from in the ice it's 420 minimum usually which kind of hurts i don't know if you guys do math now, Sonic Fox's style of play with this Sindel has taken a pretty direct hit, and you'll notice there, uh, more emphasis on the finger snap. We really need to get ourselves our cameo regenerating a lot faster, <laughs> and, and Fox is going to have to do that. All right. This is a, it's, it's a matchup where, while well, General Shao doesn't have sub, he's going to struggle to deal with it, but Shao's all about having a big enough health pool to where you work your way in and get the hit, and you can just do a lot of damage. I love the fact that we started that round almost straight away by Sonic Fox calling out the opponent's cameo and disabling Sub-Zero for quite a while. Uh, it's just going to make life so much harder for General Shao if he doesn't have that ice armor. How long can you see can take? Saw Rewind trying to go for some really crazy mixes. Kuda pick it up with a knee, but that's a little too late. Oh, no. Giving Sonic enough for the kill. Giving Rewind a little extra meter, at least on the way out. It's a strange only, I think, situation there for Rewind. Rewind. I mean, he hit the first couple of hits, but it was so low to the ground, I wonder if that's somewhat messed with the timing, you know? Mm. All right. Big damage to start. We're going to just meaty with some flow pressure. Everyone's <laughs> able to get some, some block pressure going. He was able to establish some cool stuff that Shao can do with his low slam that, you know, mimics the visually... I'm oh, sorry, mimics the visual of the high or the overhead of slam. Get some mix-ups going there. Tried to disrespect the loud hat, but active frames of the Sindel hair are shutting down his approaches. Grounded or aerial. Sonic, back to work. Mix-up time. Oh! He's all over it. 
Good rewind. Get to play this round. Gets one jump and going. It's a right. beautiful stand one. Wait a minute. It's going to be a, a tool order, however. Oh. Boy. <laughs> I was about to say, if he can just get past this potential wake-up situation. This is not a team composition that's normally known for it being like setup heavy with the with the charge. So I'm curious what he's got built with this team. Not one I, I see an awful lot. Oh, he is gonna send it early, go for some mix. But there, there's, that, that there's that lengthy of, cooldown. Um, you are gonna have that chains together mix up less often though, thanks to the changes. So this stuff, you know, where you end the combo, go for the uh, overhead low into low hat. If they block it, you can go in for another one. And I've seen about five tournament general Shao players catch up, not be able to land that combo in tournament. And Rewind showing off some execution. General Shao, one of the highest execution characters when you go for those really tight back three, two links, and it can get real crazy. And a lot of people go for them, but Rewind not afraid to be completely optimal with the big boy. And a lot of his combos are like General Shao, especially the Axler stuff. They're a lot harder than they look. They look it easy because they're only a couple of strings, but yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, oh, I can do that. And then you jump in and like, wait, what is the timing? I can't figure it out. Yeah, wait a second. Ooh, micro duck. Oh, Fox. Capitalizes there. Forcing a breaker back to mid screen. That's a good trade. Decent little trade there for Rewind, yeah. Sinto ate almost 200 damage on that. Damage buffed axe. But it's not gonna matter though. So now gonna make up for that and then some. That's the, that's the swaggiest thing I've seen in the game. She just falls to the ground gracefully, but like just on a straight line. She's just blanking you know, on the way down. That exact combo ender where you do that into the low five, that's <laughs> actually a combo trial. Really? Yeah, that's how I recognized it because I did it like week one. I was like, oh, that looks sick. I remember that. And I did not. Whoa! Flawless block. All right, wait a minute. Oh, that that was a Sonic Fox maneuver of saying, all right, that was a nice flawless block, but I'm going to force you to do it again. Yeah, do it again. Just because someone shows you that they can do it one time doesn't mean that they can do it the second time. Yeah, that's just a game of chicken at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. And, you know, the only way for you to win is to do it every single time and call that bluff. And you know what? If they do it every time, that's called getting outplayed. Yeah, exactly. If I tell you in rock, paper, scissors <laughs> that I'm going to I'm gonna go rock every time and then I never change, I'm like, what's well, your fault for listening to me, mate? I told you what I was going to do. No, I'm going to go to Twitter and I'm going to say, buff rock! Buff rock! Because that's all I want to do. Uh-oh. Serious help. Right. Big turn yeah. around. Side switch. With the damage buff and in the sub mix as well. Good block there from Fox. Rewind looking for it. Oh, the cool out from Sonic Fox. Expecting the jump. Mm. Got a sexy up block in there and just Wait assumed that was hitting something out there. Sadly, Rewind was basically one hit away from getting Fatal Blow, so there may have been a, a situation. Oh, whoa. What's going on? He like knew that he wasn't going to get hit forward dashing through that, that hair. Oh, it's not going to matter. Right before the breaker too. Unfortunate really rewind smart. had a couple of opportunities in that. Smart stuff from Sonic Fox. You know, went in for the forward one, but had absolutely no interest in letting the rest of it go. We won that one hit into Fatal Blow and we'll shut down the breaker. And we want to bring ourselves two to zero up here. Now, loser's bracket is a brutal experience. And again, Fox using that free real estate finger snap. Kung Lao kind of going back to the pre-patch cooldowns in that way. <laughs> My still block there from the low overhead. Just uh, Sonic Fox trying to establish just some jump pressure. It's not really expecting Rewind to block that. And again, going back to this range control. Something that Sindel's going to be able to do quite well here against General Xiao. Yo, down one out of that. Oh. How plus is that button? It, that's the, the beauty is that you have to, as a Xiao player, are you actually going to do your mid? It's not really hit confirmable. You have to bet that someone's going to, going to press, and it can be an inherently high-risk thing to stop someone from pressing on your own plus frames. I shout, unless you're just going to poke. But who wants to just poke in this game, catch up? We want to do some damage! I want to do the cool combos, thank you very much. All I don't right, want to I don't want to play a poke simulator. Down one, speaking of pokes. Speaking of pokes. <laughs> oh, that one whiff! That one whiff! He would punish the poke! I don't believe it. Big trade. 
And uh, Kung Lao got hit, so no combo breaker. That was too good. That was simply too good. The proximity OS that only could have covered what actually happened. That was so galaxy brain. I'm walking away for five minutes. Catch up, take over. I swear every Shao player does that. <laughs> I think I've seen at least three, at least, different Shao players in pro competition do that standing two fatal blow. That's got to be like one of the most satisfying things to hit in a real match. All right, wait a minute. Fox squirming on wake up and paying the price for it. Another one. In that case, though, unseeable mix. Oh, there's low the answer low hat. That low hat trade's better for rewind, though, because rewind just used it on its own, whereas it was Fox that charged it. So Fox having to deal with a much slower cooldown. Good. Plus some block sweep. Defense there from Fox. Breaker. We want to keep this safe. Now, the last time they fought in the grand finals, it was Beautiful. a reset bracket 3 2. Rewind. Rewind's back in this. So it's kind of scary playing a demanding character from an execution standpoint. And when I say demanding, because, you know, dropping these combos with Xiao, especially in uh, no axe stance, you're only in the no axe stance for a set time, and the game forcefully puts the axe back in your hand. So, you know, missing out on one of those combos is not only damage, but it's significant setup, especially with Kung Lao. And any kind of drop, like, throws off your mental internal clock of when axe is going to come back. And when it comes back at the wrong time, your frames can go from plus to uh, punishable real quick. Yeah. From like, oh, to I'm going to do my so safe forward too real quick. Axe comes back. GG's lock. And just let it go. Mystery. Execution. Ooh, you're telling me. Into the setup too. Good jump back though, wake up. Wow. Rewind. Pressing a button just a little bit too early there. Walking into the forward one. Sonic Fox doing the smart thing. You know, that low hat goes down to the ground. A jump back and wake up. That'll force General Shao to kind of like try and meet you in the air, which inherently on its own can be a risk too. Match point for Sonic Fox. That's what's crazy about Shao is you have to worry about this giant arcing, like, jumping that takes up three quarters of the screen, it feels like, sometimes. And it, it can be its own force here. And it can be all you need as a read, as a Shao main right now. You're like all the zoning. One miracle jump. Rewind. Keeps it there we go. Ooh, better on an up block. Fox hadn't dedicated to anything afterwards, though. Went for Minus the knees. Frames. Fox again. Just really, I think, disrespecting the fact that Shao you know, does not have the greatest mids in the world. So quite content to just stick out those down threes, down fours. Again, Another one. you know, just that's one thing Shao lacks is a, is a significantly fast mid that is of a similar range to <gasps> standing two. And mm. even there on the plus frames, I don't think it's plus enough to jail into the only mid that he's got right there, which is the back one that he attempted. That was unfortunate to punish. Yeah, two button happy there with rewind. Sonic Fox. Up. Showing you the setup with the back dash to get a bit to whiff two. Just needs one to hit, eats a Lao hat. Another one. And what do you think about that down three? Not a single thing, says Sonic Fox, as they take it three to one in the run back against Rewind. 